So the other day I tweeted wondering if the reason why they gave us an exact patch date so early is because a stuff pack or more kits were going to release that same week. I was hoping to actually be wrong about that, but it looks like I was right. The Sims tweeted, ooh, look at the sparkle. Tune in tomorrow, February 20th at 8 a.m. Pacific time for some dazzling news. There's a very short video attached, nothing much to gleam from it other than this is an Oasis Springs and there is that collectible spawner that you can get the crystals from. But why of all things have this rock be the center of attention? Well, the roadmap that we got for this quarter teased a sparkling stuff pack, so it's probably going to be about jewelry, so most likely these crystals from these base game rocks are going to have a new purpose to be able to craft jewelry out of them. I wonder how far they'll go with this because it does not look like we're getting just earrings and necklaces to craft. Uh, the roadmap has a glass gnome. It's possible that we're even getting the glass blowing station back from The Sims 3. As much as I love the idea of making the base game crystals more useful, I saw Shuby Sims made a really good point about how, especially in the newer worlds, there are very few spawners to get these crystals from. So even though they probably won't actually do it, they should go back and add more of these spawners as long as they're in locations where it makes sense and not like out of reach, like that one spot in Chestnut Ridge. But yeah, yeah, I wonder how viable this stuff hack really will be in the end. The past few stuff packs I think have actually been pretty solid to the point where I'm looking forward to these the most consistently out of all the DLC types that we get for The Sims 4, so I don't want that good streak to be broken, especially since already the timing doesn't seem to be the most desirable because the reason I was hoping that I was wrong about us getting an announcement for the stuff pack this week is how I've been saying like the game is so glitchy and broken recently and well it was odd that they announced that this next patch is coming out exactly on February 27th when that is so rare for them to ever say an exact release date for a patch. I was getting worried that the release date of the next patch was going to be where it is because of DLC sales not out of real urgency to fix the most pressing issues and then reveal this laundry list with the release date of the patch ahead of time so that there would be less backlash against the new announcement and unfortunately that seems to be exactly right. Of course the cynical way of thinking ended up being the correct one. With the patch being scheduled to release on February 27th which falls on a Tuesday then this sparkling stuff pack is probably going to be out on February 29th, which is the Thursday. I was hoping that the stuff pack would not come out until at least late March or in April so that I could just enjoy the content that we have now if the save corruption bugs hopefully get fixed in this next patch. And also that, <laughs> well, those of us who are super eager to get new DLC all the time will be pretty bored for at least two or three months because besides this stuff pack, there's nothing else coming besides a couple more kits. And kits are, well, not really much to talk about. So it, it's kind of like, oh, well, the most exciting part of this quarter probably is already going to be done <laughs> this early. Also, I find it funny that it just happened to take until the next stuff pack release to finally fix Home Chef Hustle's Waffle Maker and Pizza Oven from catching fire so often. And that wraps up another Sims Info Thoughts video. So feel free to let me know your predictions on this upcoming stuff pack in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.